Hello and welcome to clickcentral.com. I'm just putting a little video together just around um, variable management in the uh, in ClickView tool. A um, few people have used the tool know about the, the variables, so I've just opened up the variable edit editor, Control Alt V. Okay. So two ways to add a variable. So we can add a variable here. So we call it uh, my var. And the variables added down there, and we could We we'll give this a, a value. So if that went in, yes, it did. Okay, so a new variable then. Hello world. But you know that that's sort of in there now, and there's no way unless I use the comment section to tell what that, that what the variable was there, who instigated the variable, who first set it up, why it was set up, um, a lot more information around that variable. So one thing that I always do is I don't use this. What I sometimes do is I will add a variable in here um, if I need it for the UI and I don't want to reload the data. But then what I would do is immediately add that um, variable into the script. So basically we can set up any variable in here. We'll call it my var, I think it was the name of the one. So here we can add as many comments as we like by myself. It was the 15th of July when I added it, and so on and so forth, etc. etc. Run that through. So my var is now high world, and that information's in there now. Now, one of the challenges around um, the variables is, is this can become quite overwhelming and uh, one of the things I well two things I do is first of all I, I want to ensure that any variables that aren't required at the end of the script are removed completely and secondly like I've just done then any variables that are required are entered into the script because the idea really being is you should be able to come along and do this run the script and then your dashboard should work exactly as you're expected to work. The next thing I'm going to show you is just around variable management. And the, the sort of variables I've set up here and some of these may be needed in the user, user interface. But some of them might not. So this V environment might not be useful in the, in the user interface. So by running the script through and doing nothing, we've got this variable in here which is just not needed. So I think it's good housekeeping to tidy those variables up and this is how you do that. So within the script I would have an exit tab and I'll just ensure that any variables that I didn't want anymore I just set them to zero. We'll just run the script again. And it doesn't. The variables there, the value is null but the variable is still there. What I want to do is remove the variable. Now the, the way that ClickView does this is any variable that exists and that exists when I start the script will always exist at the end regardless of the fact that I've made it a null value. However, if the variable doesn't exist when we first start the script, it can be created in the script, which is fine, but at the end, if it's then set to null, it will then remove itself from the script. So if we reload this now, and now it's disappeared. So just to show that in action, if for instance we had an exit script here, okay. so the script never makes it to that line, it will exit at this point with this variable still in place. Okay, and the variable's back. So now we will check out the exit script. The variable is still there. And it is still there still because it was there before we exec execu executed the script. So remove them now. So there's no exit script in there, we've commented that out, it's going to make it to that command line. And there, the variable's gone. So just to recap, 
first of all ensure that any variables that you require are always declared within the script. Ensure that any variables that you don't need are set to know at the end of the script. And I think it's a good testing strategy to ensure that one of your tests that you do is to first of all remove all the variables, run the script, and your dashboard should behave as you would expect it to behave. In other words, there are no old variables in there that may have been created a long time ago which you think are no longer valid anymore, but actually they are still being used somewhere in an expression or something like that. Okay, thank you very much for watching and um, hope you enjoyed that. I've got more videos to come. You can check out my blog on clickcentral.com and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel on Click Central as well. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Aye, aye, aye.